everyone welcome to starshine tarot my name is lizzie i hope you're doing well and enjoying your sunday afternoon um i just got home from my dad's birthday cookout so i'm full <laughs> content and ready to go we're doing your weekly predictions by your birth sign so um this is just gonna i'm gonna do a three card spread Two different decks I'm going to clarify. Three cards will be beginning of the week, middle of the week, end of the week, and then you'll get just dump them all. <laughs> Clarified by the mini deck. So go below, find your birth sign, and I will see you at your, I want to say pile, but it's not a pile. I'll see you at your birth sign. <laughs> see you soon. How about that? <laughs> Hello Capricorns, my cheeky little devils. Let's find out what your week is going to be like. One card for beginning of the week, please. Oh my god, not the whole deck. <laughs> One card for beginning of the week for Capricorns. What do they need to know, Spirit? Okay, middle of the week. One card for Capricorn. What do we need to know? And the end of the week for Capricorns. Perfect. All right, we're going to clear up with the modern witch. Clarify. We're going to clear. Let me finish my words today. <laughs> ah, the food was good. It was a good cheat day for my diet. <laughs> for sure. Sorry, incense. My window's open, so it's probably going to go that way. All right, beginning of the week, Capricorn, we got starting out with the Empress, clarified by the Four of Swords. So, this is going to, for some of you, might be giving birth in the beginning of this week, or might be conceiving a baby, because the Empress does talk about fertility, either making a baby, somebody could be announcing pregnancy in the beginning of the week, you could be finding out you're pregnant, or like I said, giving birth. Doesn't have to be though, I'm just putting it out there. Um, this is a new start. <laughs> um, but with to clarify with the Four of Swords, this is, um, It's like you're making a sacrifice might be making some tough sacrifices here to birth off this new start and if it is actual birth um, you could be having a lot of anxiety be careful you don't manifest a difficult birth if that is your scenario think positively think happy thoughts thoughts become your reality you manifest if you stress and worry too much, you could be manifesting something stressful and worrisome. But this could be like, you might have to sacrifice a lot of time and money for a new start and something, or just it's going to be a little bit of a difficult beginning. Middle of the week, we have the Fool, clarified by the Nine of Cups. But you're on a new journey, so you have a new start, going in a new direction here. You could be traveling, traveling for work. You could be going on vacation towards wish fulfillment. This could be making a decision as well. It doesn't have to be a physical journey. It could be reaching a destination in your mind and finally knowing what you're going to do here. Maybe you're going to be figuring out um, what to do about this new start or you're going towards somebody who you consider an empress because um, Nine of Cups does talk about wish fulfillment and happiness. Um, and at the end of the week, we have King of Cups clarified by Seven of Pentacles. So this definitely could be talking about love. Um, could be making a decision. Could be leaving partners this week and choosing other love interests doesn't have to be. Um, it could be about work, starting a new endeavor, getting a promotion, getting a pay raise, but you might have to sacrifice more uh, time away from your family with more hours at work. Starting something new could be actually traveling, moving towards wish fulfillment, could be getting that promotion to make the money you want, could be um, going on that vacation because the fool is a, a journey here. 
or making a decision. King of Cups is somebody who has a serious offer, a serious commitment, serious love. Seven of Pentacles also bringing options. So, I think there's something new kicking off for you in a big way this week, Capricorns. That's going to have longevity into the future. Um, you're making a decision. You're going in a new direction. And you might get an offer here. Or be um, offering somebody either your heart or maybe you're like a hire somebody who hires someone you might be offering the perfect candidate the job this week it could be anything like that but i feel like it's gonna be big and brace for impact <laughs> pay attention to the signs and follow your gut capricorns Woo! <laughs> see you next week bye cappies how's it going taurus okay let's do let me give this a quick shuffle, actually. One card for beginning of the week. For Taurus, what do they need to know? Beginning of the week. Middle of the week. End of the week. Clarified by the mini deck. <laughs> One more. Okay. <laughs> Beginning of the week, we have Six of Wands, clarified by the Two of Wands. Claiming victory, making a, staking a claim, claiming a prize, um, receiving reconciliation, receiving um, awards, accolades, attention. Being in the spotlight, doing good at work, being discovered, anything like that. But clarified two of wands, you have a choice to make here. If you are in a competition between two people, might be going your way here. Let's see in the middle of the week. We have Ace of Cups. Ooh, this is a new offer here. Three of Pentacles talks about a work situation. Okay, so Six of Wands is public recognition. You could be in the spotlight here this week, Taurus. Um, two of Wands, you might have two choices for work. Two options coming in here, Cups of Love. <laughs> could be two lovers. Could be a third party situation. And somebody could be ending a third party choosing you. But mostly, I feel like this is about work. You're you're getting appraisal. You're you're getting attention for what you do. It's going well. Let me get another clarifier. This is going in two directions, and I want to be clear. Two of Wands, please clarify. Six of Cups, exchanging something. Okay, so someone in the public eye might be coming to help you this week, Taurus. You might be getting a leg up. Um, somebody might get, m might be making a decision about you. Or this could be making up with somebody. Um, offer here, new start. Could be a business offer. Could be a love offer. Work partnership. Three of pentacles. Um... I do see something positive here. Positive work endeavor going well in the middle of the week. Someone might offer a collab or might offer like something for your business. Might spring up in the middle of the week um, and you end up partnering with other people and it goes well or you end up saving the day. Like say if you have a business and they had plans to do something and the other business canceled and you're like, we can do it. And it's like, I see it going well. <laughs> And then the end of the week, we have Knight of Wands, clarified by Seven of Wands. A little bit of adversity. Ooh, competition. With the staking your claim in the beginning of the week, Ace of Wands, I think you're the one making an offer here. You might be even making an ultimatum. Because this Knight of Wands is like, I'm going after what I want. This is what I want. And I'm going to fight for it. You might have competition in a work environment, or you might just, um, you might have competition for a promotion. You might have competition with 
like say there's two businesses on the same street that sell the same stuff and you could be competing it's like some kind of competition here you're definitely making it known what you want you're staking your claim you're making an offer here just see you in emperor or empress energy going after what you want it's going to be intense in a good way so wow <laughs> these are all getting very intense oh, i hope it's good for you please give this a thumbs up if you want more in the future if you like it if you like my energy please subscribe thank you so much i'll see you next week taurus bye hey virgo how's it going i'm a virgo too <laughs> let's see what our week is going to be like give this a quick shuffle sorry kitty she came over here to be pet and i was like i can't i'm on a roll <laughs> beginning of the week middle oh, middle of the week and oh oh my god too many end of the week mini deck to clarify Beginning of the week, we have Page of Swords, clarified by Six of Cups. Could be speaking your truth here, exchanging feelings. Could be hard truths, could be good truths. But this is either you speaking your truth or someone speaking truth to you, exchanging their two cents, exchanging feelings, exchanging business ideas, proposals, truth. This is the sword of truth to me. Hard or good truth? We'll find out. Middle of the week, we have the chariot. Ooh, things moving fast with eight, eight of pentacles. It's like working hard. Um, this could be collaborations. This could be manifesting. Um, this is you going forward. This could be networking. This could be going forward. And, and um, let's say if this is a love situation and you're just like in a bad relationship and finally like you're at, I'm done with this toxicity and I'm leaving. The chariot is moving fast. Eight of Pentacles is like gathering what you need to move, um, gathering um, information. Um, if you're like married, or, like this could be like literally the ending of something big. Does not have to be. I, this is collective. I have to say it all. So this could be like your business telling you, hey, um, Fast truth could be coming in. We want to promote you. We think you're doing a good job. By the way, you're going to have to go on this trip or we need you to move right away. Um, tell me what you need to move. Like, what are your requirements? Do you need such and such bedrooms? Um, I need you to prepare to move your office to uh, this state. Like, it could be that. Like, something really good but just moving fast. This could be somebody coming, charging in here. Um, let me clarify. Just get this a little bit more clear for you. Ace of Pentacles, please clarify. Just be a little bit more clear for them. Ten of Wands. Okay, it's going to be stressful. It's going to be burden, burdensome moving towards something really quickly. Change is coming fast. It's going to seem stressful. It's going to be seem heavy. It's going to be burdensome, but you're, you're working through it. So in the beginning of the week, you're getting some kind of hard truth or, or you could be like finding out you have a busier week than you thought, just something big towards communication. Middle of the week, you're like moving fast. Everything's fast paced, stress, stress, stress. And end of the week though, we have the sun, which is happiness, good job, everything turning out, wish fulfillment, um, most positive deck in the whole tarot. <laughs> Page of swords, Page of swords again. So it's like you could be getting bad news truth coming in could stress you out you could have to make choices here and you coming in and now you're speaking your truth so someone could be speaking your truth and then in the end you're speaking your truth or vice versa it's like good news or bad news might come exchange could be rather difficult stressful but then you get good news in the end 
Let me clarify because the Page of Swords came up twice. Three of Swords. We got Heartbreak though. This could be healing from Heartbreak. Um, the news that broke your, your heart in the beginning of the week actually ended up working out in your favor. So I think it's going to be a hard, stressful week. Um, you might shed a few tears. You might get a few gray hairs with stress. But overall, it's ending in the most positive way that it could end. Praise for impact, Virgos. I feel like all the earth signs are getting shook this week. Oh, dear. <laughs> but it could be a good shook. Doesn't have to be a bad shook. Let's let's be positive. <laughs> Love and light. Thank you so much. If you want more, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up below. If you like my energy, please hit subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week, fellow Virgos. Bye. How's it going, Aries? Let me give this a quick shuffle. Let's look at your week. We're going to do one card for the beginning of the week, one card for the middle of the week, and one card for the end of the week. Thank you. And let's clarify with the mini deck. <laughs> Thank you. Holy incense right to the face. <laughs> um Today was my dad's birthday cookout, even though his birthday was on Tuesday, but he's Aries. So I'm saying that. So happy birthday, all Aries, either coming up, current, or recently past. I hope your birthdays are good or were good. Happy birthday, Aries. <laughs> all right, so we have Knight of Wands for the beginning of the week, clarified by Ten of Swords. You're coming at a, a problem that's very hard and burdens burdensome. You might be very anger, angry and riled up like, Ah, I'm going, I'm going to get you for what you did. Ugh, could be a bit hostile in the beginning of the week. Let's see. Three of discs, clarified by Knight of Cups. Okay. So this isn't anger. This is like feeling a time crunch, feeling stressed out. I need to go make my move fast because I'm scared I'm going to lose out here. Either on a business opportunity, oh my god, or a love opportunity. I need to come rushing in. Three of this talks about work partnerships, work relationships. Could be even third party as well. Um, Knight of Cups is um, very deep romantic feelings but still a bit whimsical it's like somebody might have put you in a third party or you are having a third party situation you might like more than one person here you might have feelings um Let's look at the end of the week. Let me get the bigger picture. We have Knight of Cups again. You've got Knight of Cups twice, followed by the King of Cups for clarification. So, yeah, I think you might have two love offers. One is a knight and one is a king. Um, the king is very committed, deep, true feelings, very mature. And Knight of Cups is, you know, flighty. Like they love, but they don't want to be tied down at the same time. This could have been um, somebody who didn't want to leave a commitment for you. Could finally be making a choice. I don't know. I feel like this is both about love. So let me, both about love and work. So let me talk about work first, just so it's not too confusing. With this Knight of Wands, you might be, and this Ten of Swords, you might have like lost a promotion or you found out there's some kind of competition in, at work and you're like rushing in to like either prove yourself or like do a, a good job here with this Three of Discs. You could be helping or collaborating with people at work. Um, Knight of Cups is um, something that's very passionate. You're following your heart here. Um, 
you could have been heartbroken about something that you went after. Like I said, you could have lost a promotion, but you end up um, realizing that maybe collaboration was the way to go or you could have been stressful like maybe you got promoted and you figured when you got there it was going to be difficult and you weren't going to get along with the other people but I see that going in the opposite direction like this is happy work environment like maybe if you are stressing about starting a new job I think you'll make friends there you might even find love there but this to me talks about leveling up, maturing, going from Knight of Cups to King of Cups. Um, really showing in the workforce that you are dedicated, that you're maturing, that you're growing in a positive direction. So if you were overlooked for promotions in the past, I do see people really seeing your worth this week. And um, you might get that promotion after all. If this is about love, you might hear that someone you love might have other options um, or could have like maybe like an ex or someone is giving their love to someone else. So you're coming in wanting to make a mature love offer here or someone could be coming in to give you a love offer this week that's mature um, or you could be getting up to two love offers from someone who's flighty and from someone who is solid and I think you're going to be able to tell the difference between the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. This could be talking about an ex coming back as well, now more mature. Could be that as well. I have to say, oh, it's collective. So Aries, it's going to be an intense week for you. A lot of intense feelings. Don't let it get the better of you. Thank you so much. If you like these, if it resonated, please give me a thumbs up below. If you like my energy, please hit the subscribe. Thanks again, my little war gods. That's what I call you, Aries. Aries was the god of war, right? So, your war gods. <laughs> anyway, see you next week. Bye. Hello, Leo. How's it going? All right, so we're going to get one card for the beginning of the week. One card, Spirit, not 80. <laughs> one card. Oh. One card for the beginning of the week for Leo. What do we need to know for Leo? Oh, okay. Might have a lot coming at you this week, Leo. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Let's clarify with the mini deck and we'll get right into it. Oh my god, these cards have come out a lot. These The Six of Cups and Ten of Cups has come up in almost everyone's reading. Alright, in the beginning of the week we have Nine of Discs. Clarified by the Six of Cups. You could be getting a lot of offers, or this is you making a decision about a lot of offers. Like, this could be all these work endeavors or all these jobs you're looking at. It's like you're looking for a job. Um, okay, I like this job, I like this job, but I'm going to go for this job. So I'm putting in my application and my resume and I'm going for it. It could be that. Um, this could be about love. I like this person, I like this person, I like this person, but this person really makes me happy. So I'm going to go offer them a love interest. Or this could be choosing your college. Like I like this school, I like this school, I like this school. I'm going to go with this school. It's like you're evaluating your choices and, and you're putting in an offer you're making a decision in the beginning of the week in the middle of the week ooh, the emperor clarified by the six of pentacles you're standing in your power um strong capable um masculine energy you're not taking anyone's crap um confident um Whatever craft you do, just shining bright at it. Six of Pentacles talks about public rec recognition, people favoring you, going your way. So whatever power moves you're making in the beginning of the week, I think they will be well received, Leo. In the end of the week, we have Justice Clarified by the Ten of Swords. You have some either karma coming in that's going to be very hard. 
um, and very devastating or this is um, a judge ruling not in your favor or a, a hard ruling of some kind this could be a hard news um, learning something hard um, things not going um, in the way you had hoped so in the middle of the week we have you strong going well but the end of the week we have some some kind of it could be repercussion it could be something you've been like this could be coming in and you know because justice talks about court so the emperor in midweek could be like your your day to speak your truth and it goes well and you know you you said your piece and the jury seems to be going well or whatever it will have you um but the favor is going to be hard 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 favor in the end so i think this is going to be a hard week um definitely karmically but everything's to move you in a better direction so don't harp on it too much what isn't meant to be in your life will fall away to make room for what is and sometimes those fallaways are a bit hard but it's all right up, Leo. You're going to be all right. Thank you so much. Um, if you like this, if you want more of these, please give me a thumbs up below. If you like my energy, please subscribe. Thank you so much again. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Hey, Sagittarius. All right. So we're going to get one card for the beginning of your week. One card for the me middle of your week. I almost said the meat of your week. Middle of the week for Sagittarius. What do we got going on? And the end of the week. Nice. All right. My little mini deck to clarify. Sagittarius. What do we need to know for... All right. I'll take it. Beginning of the week, we have Four of Swords clarified by Four of Wands. <sighs> Four of Wands talks to me about instability, hardships, turmoil, being in anguish, lack mentality, anxiety, stress. But Four of Wands talks about stability, balance, um, supporting connections, wish fulfillment, celebrations. So I feel like you have a bad situation and a good situation going on in the beginning of the week. I think you want stability and you're realizing that you don't have stability either in job or love or this is you in the beginning of the week walking away from a job that's not stable for something that is stable, walking away from a connection that is not stable or going towards something to go towards a relationship that is stable. Middle of the week, we have three of discs and the star. Okay. So this is talking about collaborate, collaboration chip, collaboration chips. What the? am I even saying collaborations work partnerships or third party relationships the star talks about wish fulfillment being somebody's chosen one things going in your way being a star seed it could be a literal star um, like public eye star so this is rather interesting beginning of the week we have something really hard and really heavy and really toxic but we have something very stable and strong. I don't know if this is you weighing this in your head or this is literally something hard and something good is going to happen <laughs> at the same time. Um, but I do see work collaborations going well. Um, or if this is third party situation, somebody's making a decision here. Um, Recognizing that one love interest is toxic and one love interest is balanced. The star being their choice and whoever, whatever one they're choosing, the four of wands, which would be heavy and burdensome, and the four of, I'm sorry, the four of swords is heavy and burdensome, and the four of wands is wish fulfillment. So I feel like this is somebody making a decision. Could be an Aquarius making a decision here. It doesn't have to be. 
you could be making a decision about <laughs> about an Aquarius. But I feel like this is about your dream. You're either collaborating with someone to go towards your dream or a vision you have about a business. Or like I said, it's like I want out of this third party. I know which one I want now. This is my person. Closing out the end of the week, we have seven of swords, clarified by the sun, and five of cups. Either you feel like somebody left you behind, and that person could be coming back for you this week, or you're leaving somebody behind to go towards your happiness. It could be a job or a person. Or it could be moving and just being unsure about it. Because Five of Cups talks to me. It's kind of like the homesickness card. Um, heartbroken, heavy. We have happiness. And again, like the like you're at the beginning of your week. You have Four of Swords. Which is, like I said, very heavy, burdensome. Clarified by something very stable, balanced, and wish fulfillment. And at the end of the week, you have something very heavy. And burdensome clarified by the most positive card in the deck so I feel like it's a bittersweet week you're leaving a job that's shitty and getting the one that you want or going to start your own business and not working for anyone else or you're leaving a bad lover for a good lover it's bittersweet nothing about it's going to be easy but everything is t towards something you want and something you feel stable about you're leaving instability you're leaving something that made you feel hollow so big 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 life changes all around Sagittarius holy shizzle <laughs> if you liked it if you want more of these in the future please give me a thumbs up below I would greatly appreciate it um, if you like my energy please subscribe and I'll see you next week Sagittarius is love you boy Hi Pisces. All right, we're going to get one card for the beginning of your week. One card spirit for the beginning of Pisces week. Middle of the week, one card please. Thank you. End of the week. And we'll clarify it with my little mini deck here. Perfect. All right. So we have nine of discs followed by the two of cups. You're trying to make a decision about a love partnership or a work partnership. Should I partner with this business? Should I invest with this company or in this person? Should I give this person my heart? Is this person my one? That you have options. But you want the one, as in the one that's going to help me grow this business or the one I'm going to live my life with. Middle of the week, we, oh my God, the Hierophant with the two of wands. The Hierophant talks about marriage, commitment, um, spiritual teachers here. Could be making a decision if you're already married because the Hierophant talks about marriage. So you could be... Um, We could be planning something here for a lover, or a lover could be planning something for you. Two of Wands is hiding the secret. It's very burdensome. Um, at the end of the week, we have Four of Cups followed by the Sun. I don't know why I'm feeling like somebody's pretending like it's the type of situation where they pretend to forget someone's birthday and like... Mm, this person really thinks that they forgot their birthday, but really there's like a surprise party at the end of it or something. I'm getting those vibes. Don't know why, but it's collective, so I'm going to say it. I'll back up. And So you have some decisions to make. You want to make the right decision. I do feel like, again, this is love or work, which is a common thread through all of these. Um, you could be signing some contracts here, or you could be proposing 
two of wands there could be competition or some kind of complication in all of this coming together because we have four of cups which is unsatisfied heartbroken feeling a lack um, victim mentality but then we have it clarified with the suns i feel like it, it's short-lived you might get some hard news towards um a contract or a partnership here but it ends up going well or you might feel like this could be going on the date and actually feeling like you met the one like this is my person this is the one I'm gonna marry but maybe they don't call you back right away or they kind of give you the cold shoulder until t more towards the end of the week where you have the Sun where you're gonna get that happy news that maybe they like you back to um, it could be anything like that where it's a temporary Oh man, hurt to the heart that ends up, oh, I was wrong. Okay, I, I read that wrong. So don't get ahead of your feelings this week, basically, <laughs> Pisces. I hope you liked it. If you did, if you want more of these in the future, please give me a thumbs up below. Um, if you like my vibes, please subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Bye, Pisces. Hey, Cancer, how's it going? All right, so we're going to do three cards for you. Beginning of the week, one card, please, for Cancer. What do we need to know? <laughs> Bam, Cancer. Coming in hot. <laughs> Middle of the week, one card, please. Whew. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, too many. One card for the end of the week. Too many. Verified by my mini deck. Perfect. All right, beginning of the week, coming in as the freaking emperor. Yes, please. Coming in powerful, strong, confident, boss energy, beginning of the week, ready to conquer. Um, clarified by the five of swords. Oh, oh, but this is a hardship. Bad news, heartbreak. You could be hiding pain. You could be hiding devastation to everyone near the emperor, but to the inside, some hard news or, or some tough news could be coming or some situation in your life is turbulent. Middle of the week, we have the magician. Five of wands. Oh my God, five of swords, five of wands. Five of cups. Oh my God. So many changes going on for you, Cancer. All right. Magician talks about manifestations. This could be something you've been trying to manifest for a long time. Um, this could be... Trying to gain confidence, too. Because I do see there's an energy of, I got this, everything's going to be okay, I'm stressed out, I'm feeling a lack, my heart's a little broken, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see my way through this, keeping that brave face. Five of Wands, a lot of gossip, people talking shit could be this week, or just some adversity, you could have some competition, you could have people trying to get in between this manifestation you're trying to, to bring about. So be leery of that this week, Cancer. Five of Cups, end of the week. Sad. Heartbroken. Lost something. Could be getting hard news. You could be finding out that someone stabbed you in the back here. Or that someone isn't your real friend or isn't ride or die for you. Clarified by the Two of Swords. See, um, like somebody's throwing daggers at you this week, Cancer. And one of them's going to hit, and you're going to see the truth about this person or this business deal or this thing that you thought was great. Because you're coming in through the beginning of the week, the emperor, like, this is good, this is great, I'm happy, go forth and conquer. Could be getting hard news, like, um, actually you can't because you have to do this, or... You know, whatever. It could be hard news or it could be like 
I'm confident. I'm happy. I have this person at my side. Woohoo. Like, life is good. But, oh, really? There are shit faces stabbed you in the back. Oh, look at them talking shit, trying to keep you from your wish fulfillment. They broke your heart. They threw daggers at you. Or this is you making a really hard cut that's going to hurt your heart to have to do. But it's better for you in the end. I feel like someone's got to go this week, Cancer. You got a snake in the grass. Be careful. Be careful. I don't like this. The magician five of wands shit. This is like pastor motherfuckers trying to get in the way of your shit. And this is people who don't like to see you as the emperor and want to make you feel like shit about yourself or kick you down so that you don't. Like, if you're obviously. If you're the emperor, you're going to bring that fucking manifestation. Nobody can stop the emperor. So they're going to give it all they got. And I think it's going to it's going to break your heart. I don't think it's going to stop you. It's going to break your heart how shitty this thing is or these people are. It's like rose-colored glasses are being flipped, Cancer. <sighs> Have some whiskey at the ready. <laughs> anyway, I hope, I mean, not that anyone could like a reading like this, but if you like these type of types of readings and want more in the future, please give me a thumbs up below. If you like my energy, please subscribe. Thank you so much, Cancer, and fuck these snakes. You don't need these snakes. Pfft. They ain't got shit on you, okay? Fuck them. Snakes always get what they deserve in the end. Snakes are snakes. They're either powerhouses, as in alchemy, like spiritual snakes that no one can fuck with, or they're these lowly snake in the grass that always get crushed under someone's boot. So, I, I think you're going to be alright. I think it's going to be hard at the end of the week, but you're going to be alright. Fuck them, cancer. Fuck them. <laughs> See you all next week. Bye, guys. Hi Scorpios, how's it going? Okay, we're going to do three cards for you. Um, one card for the beginning of the week for Scorpios. One card for the middle of the week for our Scorpios. Holy shizzle my nizzle. And one card for <laughs> the end of the week for my Scorpios. Clarified with my mini deck. I'll get that in a second. It's all the way across the room. Got stuff coming at you hot and heavy. One second. All right, Scorps. So the beginning of the week we have... <sighs> Sorry, King of Cups. I just took a drink. Like, chugged it through the straw so hard. I was like, Whew, got to breathe. The incense is like blowing right in my face and dries you right out. All right, King of Cups is a serious love offer or a serious offer of some kind. Somebody could be expressing feelings. You could be expressing feelings. Or this is um, conquering your feelings in general. Conquering your stress, your anxiety, your worries. Clarified by the Eight of Cups. You don't see something coming here. I, it might be a love offer that you never saw coming could be a secret crush coming forward let's see uh, middle of the week we have six of discs clarified by the two of cups yes this is about love six of discs is about exchanging of feelings could be asked out on a date and going on a date and i feel like that's your energy secret crush finally coming forward someone solid sexy um that you don't see coming, that sneaks up on you, you wind up having this really deep connection with this two of cups. This is like, oh my God, I won. I have feelings. They have feelings. What is happening? <laughs> and then the end of the week, we have the hermit and the king of cups. So this could be, you are a water sign here. You could be dealing with a, a Virgo because that's the hermit card. Does not have to be. But this is like seeing, like reflecting on things. King of Cups 
as having very deep I think you're going to be a little bit swept up in how quickly the the intensity of all this like you might be swept up in the exchange of the feelings like wow I didn't know that this person oh my god you have king of cups twice king of cups in the beginning of the week closed out by the king of cups so it's like and the hermit is like going inward reflecting on it like you're reflecting on this date that I think you're going to be having or these feelings that are being expressed. You're keeping your emotions in check here. <laughs> I think you're a little shook. You're like, oh my God. In a good way. You might be like, I need a minute. This is intense. But yeah, some feelings are going to be expressed. You might have a little hot date. Um, and if it's not about love, it... Um, it could be a surprising job offer. <laughs> or you might um, have someone still express feelings to you even though you're not single and you have to be like, um, I'm with someone. <laughs> like, trying to balance it and, and keep a, a relationship that isn't destroyed because you turn someone down. It could be that as well. But for the majority of it, I feel like someone's secret crush is coming forward or you're coming forward <laughs> for your secret feelings. Ooh, Scorpy, it's a love week. I like it. If you like these, if you want more in the future, please give me a thumbs up below. If you like my energy, please subscribe. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Hello, Aquarius. How goes it? <laughs> All right, so we're going to do three cards for you. One card for the beginning of the week for our Aquariuses. Please, Spirit, what do we need to know? beginning of the week okay I like it middle of the week end of the week okay clarified by my little handy mini deck with this temperance, positive, peaceful, tranquil, feeling secure, clarified by the Eight of Wands. <laughs> so I think the beginning of the week, you're going to be feeling a little bit chaotic or things are in total chaos around you, but here you are in your like hippie temperance home. Everything's chaos around me. Seemingly complicated, but I'm just going to be me over here in sunshine and rainbows. It'll all work out. Zen as fuck. Not letting this chaos get in, in there. <laughs> or you're dealing with something very stressful, something you're very nervous about, but trying to be positive and, and it going in your favor. Middle of the week, we have two of wands, clarifi clarified by nine of swords. <sighs> you have a decision to make, and it's heavy, and it's difficult. This is... You're stressed about change, about things changing, or about things going wrong, or failure, or something like that. Like, this is... I think this tornado is in your mind because you have to make a decision here or midweek you're making decisions that are going to be hard that um, cause you pain here feeling like you're sacrificing that you're losing out on things the end of the week we have page of cups clarified by the devil think you have something to say that you're keeping to yourself it could be unhappiness it could be romantic feelings you could be unhappy with a work relationship feeling like you have a lot of codependency feeling like maybe you have um a lot of toxicity around you could be dealing with something nasty like a 
yucky person or a yucky situation and you're just like holding this could be holding your energy to yourself not even wanting to deal with this person or somebody coming in to let's clarify clarify the devil energy okay the star yeah you're coming out in your own reading Aquarius you are the star card so you're making a choice you're choosing yourself over this toxicity you're choosing your way clarify this page of cups one more time what are we keeping to ourselves ten of swords six of pentacles six of cups four of pentacles basically you're hiding Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just dropped the old deck on the floor. Shit, Aquarius. Shit. But anyway, I'll get that in a minute. You're fighting yourself. Like, you might know that you have a devil in your midst trying to stop you. So, your, your outward exterior... See? Someone's trying to fuck with your shit, Aquarius. You need to sage. Cord cut. For real. I don't like you. I do not like these vibes around you. Get the fuck out of our space. Right, Aquarius? Shit. Anyway, so this is you. No matter what the fuck they do, they could throw tornadoes at you, literally. You are cool, calm, collected. I am Gandhi. You cannot fuck with my zen. <laughs> Good for you, Aquarius. But, oh my God, this is burdensome, and I know I need to make a choice. I know I, I know I have to make a hard choice. This is in your inner dialogue. But it's going to be so hard. I don't want to leave my comfort zone. I don't want to deal with it. But I'm going to choose myself. I have a path. I have a destiny. This shit, this person, this thing, that it doesn't need to come with me anymore. Because you're the literal fucking devil. I need to get rid of my codependencies, my addictions. I'm not going to let them take anything from me. I'm going to keep my ideas to myself. I'm going to keep my feelings to myself. Because I think you know that someone's trying to stop you here. So you're pretending. You're hiding the fact that this is burdensome. That you feel stabbed in the back. To everybody in, around you and your surroundings, you're peaceful, zen as fuck. People are respecting you, seeing you as the star shining bright. They have no idea the level of shit you are dealing with this week. You want to exchange ideas and feelings, but you, you have this devil energy around you. And I think they might want to steal your ideas or stop you in some sense. You're recognizing that. You're keeping those... Even though you want to exchange something, you're keeping it to yourself. Four of Pentacles, yeah, because you I gotta keep it to myself because I can't trust this devil energy. Intense. But I do see you maintaining that boss energy, maintaining that mask of not allowing this person to visibly shake you up. Stay strong, Aquarius. Fuck tards. I'm gonna pray for you. It's gonna be a hard week, but you're you're gonna come out on top. Stay in the light. Stay in the high road. Don't sink to this person's level. Karma will bite them straight in the dink or the tits. Don't you worry. Just stay stay golden, boy boy. Stay fucking golden. <laughs> that is the outsider's reference. If you've never read that book, here in the States, at least in New York, you have to read that in middle school. Because it's written by somebody who wrote that while they were in middle school. It's a great book. Anyway, I'm a greaser. I will always be a greaser, even if I win the lottery. <laughs> I'll see you next week, Aquarius. If you like this, if you want more in the future, please give me a thumbs up below, as it does help me grow, and I do appreciate it. I love you all. My subscribers, you are total badasses, and I love you. <laughs> um, if you like my vibes, please subscribe. I would love to have you in our soul tribe on this crazy journey we call life. And I will see you all next week.
Bye, guys. Maybe we'll get some sleep for once. I say that every week and it never happens. And my eyelashes just stuck together. I got this new mascara. It's weird. Anyway, bye. <laughs> hey, Geminis, how's it going? Okay, so we're going to do three cards for you. One card for the beginning of the week. One card for the middle of the week. And one card for the end of the week. And I'm going to use my mini deck to clarify. Okay. So beginning of the week, we have three of discs clarified by the King of Pentacles in reverse. So, when the King of Pentacles comes upright, this is somebody who's stable with their money, grounded, balanced, in tune with themselves. So, now that it's in reverse, you might not have um, enough money, enough um, confidence, self-respect. You might not be stable enough. But three of discs could talk about work collaborations, partnerships, celebrations, family events, or third-party situations. And so if this is about a work partnership or work collaborations, you're feeling like you don't have enough maybe ideas to offer or money to put in or you just don't see it um, going in a positive direction. It's unstable in your work environment in the beginning of the week. Um, or you just don't feel stable in your family life or your in your relationship. Let's talk about middle of the week. We have King of Wands clarified by the devil. So there's a like a, a male dominated uh, dominating energy coming in the middle of the week. That's a little bit of a tyrant that could be giving you um, some issues. They could be wanting to keep you codependent. They could be offering you um, something they know you can't refuse. Um, this could be you facing your addictions this week. Um, realizing you have some codependency or some things that are keeping you from a work um, advancement or a work endeavor. Because we did um, see in the beginning of the week that maybe you want to start some kind of collab or some kind of project, but you don't feel like you have enough money or enough time or it's not solid. So King of Wands could talk about a creative idea or endeavor or a work job or work endeavor oh my god hiccups that you want to do but the devil is like oh I have codependencies or I have addictions that I may be spending money on things that are keeping me from finding people or finding the money I need or collabing with the people I need to this is like codependencies addictions fears um, obsessions holding holding yourself back here or this could be a literal um, fire sign who's just like the literal devil or a masculine energy that is coming in and in your work environment and being bossy and dominating trying to keep you dependent on them so you can't rise above keeping you um, unsolid at the end of the week, we have the Fool clarified by the Two of Pentacles. You want a new start. You want this situation to change. So if this is a work environment, you might be feeling very unstable and insecure in your job. You might not like your boss and think that they're like holding you back or someone in your work environment is holding you back. So this could be you going after a new job, choosing between two jobs, choosing to, between two people. Um, choosing to, between two job offers within the same company. Maybe you have like two jobs that you could do. It's like something new. You're going in a new direction. You do need to make a decision here. And I think it's about staying or going. About cutting ties with things that aren't good for you. Um, and standing your ground or continuing down bad roads and being unstable. You're recognizing that you don't like your relationships. Um either at work or at home, things aren't going in the way that you want. You're realizing that if you want that to fix in the beginning of the week, you're going to have to face those devil's ener devil energy and stand your ground. And I see you doing that towards the end of the week. 
like at least recognizing that you have choices and decisions you need to make because you're unsettled and unhappy in whatever aspect of your life. You're recognizing it this week and now you're like, okay, I need to make it a new start and what is that new start? So next week, it's probably going to be a lot more positive and more relaxing because you're realizing this this week, Gemini. So it's going to be a little bit of a hard week, but I think it's a week you need to get you on a course correct here. I hope you liked it. If you did, if you want more in the future, please give me a thumbs up below. If you like my energy, please subscribe, and I'll see you next week. I love you guys. See you later, Gemini. Bye. Hello, Libra. All right, so let's get three cards for you. One card for the beginning of the week for Libras. One card for the middle of the week. And one card for the end of the week. Oh. And I'll clarify with my little deck here. Oh, got some of the cards. They're so little. All right. Beginning of the week, we have King of Swords. Clarified by the Fool. Making some decisions, speaking your truth, going towards a new direction. You could literally say, hey, I'm leaving this job and I'm moving because I took this job. Or, hey, I don't like this relationship so I'm moving out and I'm choosing myself. Or, hey, I'm going to go back to school. <laughs> it's like you're speaking your truth, dropping some truth bombs and you're moving in a new direction. You might hear some truth at work like, hey, you're being promoted. And this is like you going to training. Middle of the week, we have Knight of Cups clarified by the chariot. An offer. Could be a business offer. Somebody's offering you a cup here. A cup of their love or a cup at their table at a business table. But the chariot is like rushing right in, moving fast. You're going for an energy. People, um, somebody might be coming for you hard this week if it's about love, speaking their truth making that love offer or um, work speaking their truth like, hey, you've been a, doing a really good job. We want to make an offer to make you management. It could be that as well. At the end of the week, we have death clarified by the six of cups. Ending of an old cycle here. Ending of a job. Ending of a relationship. Ending of something bad for you because we have six of cups. Somebody else is making a love offer or someone else is giving you a job offer here. It's like, you're either ending a job you don't like and you're getting a job you like. You're ending a relationship you don't like and you're getting a relationship you do like. Or you're just deading bad habits and you're moving towards something more healthy. It's like this is all positive movement. All good stuff. Hearing some truth, getting some offers, and ending some cycles. Badass this week, Libra. I hope you liked it. If you did, if you want more of these in the future, please give me a thumbs up below as it does help me grow. And I do appreciate it so much. If you like my energy, please subscribe. I would love to have you here at Starshine Tarot. I love you all. Thank you so much for your time. And I will see you next week. 